LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus fifteen. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. Lift off. Vehicle switching down range. M1B chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Now during ascent, we tilt the engines, and that's what we call gimbling. And that turns the rocket horizontally. That's what we call a gravity turn. Vehicle is supersonic. We're still going up, but we're now also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. The rocket typically needs to go Falcon about... Max Q. And there we heard the call out for Max Q. We have now passed through the maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural load on the vehicle. And with that, we do have events coming up back to back. So we'll have Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, or second stage engine Impact start sure. one. Again, that's events happening within seconds of each other. We should get some good views of these happening. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back to mission. Now in a few seconds here, we should see the fairing halves on the second stage being deployed. Got some awesome views here. The Fair left hand. Fairing confirmed. And we heard that call out and visual confirmation on your right hand screen that the fairing halves have deployed. They're now making their way back to Earth. Stage two continues to follow nominal trajectory. Incredible views today. Got some great ground views of the vehicle as it is making its ascent. And we're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for satellite deployment. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. We've got some awesome views here. The left hand screen is showing the first stage. Now in a few seconds here we should see you should see on your screen the first stage is entry burn. Seco one. Just heard that call out for Seco one, just waiting for a couple orbit insertion. And there it is. We got a confirmation of good orbit. And for the entry burn, we relight three of the nine M1D engines. And that starts with the center E9 engine, followed by the E1 and E5 engines. And that helps to slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we need to slow the vehicle down to reduce... Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Great callouts. Everything's looking nominal. And for that entry burn, we do need to slow down the, the vehicle uh, to reduce the re-entry forces. Uh, that helps us to recover and reuse the first stage. Stage two is still looking great. On your right-hand screen is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Stage one, entry burn startup. We heard the call out, and you can visually see on your screen that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Again, this helps to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. It's only about a 20-second burn. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And we heard that call out for entry Stage burn. Stage two FTS has saved. Good call outs there. And you can see the land in the background view of the first stage as it's making its way back to landing zone one. 
Stage one, transonic. Stage one, landing burn. The landing burn, wow, incredible views of this landing burn of this first stage. Also signal Cape and Bermuda. Stage one, leg to play. Stage one, leg to play. And what an incredible sight to see. We have touchdown of Falcon 9. This is our 104th recovery of an orbital class Terminal rocket. Guidance. Now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. And after the coast phase, we will light that MVAC engine for a second time around T plus 56 minutes. So we'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. And in the meantime, enjoy the space tunes. Expected LS Cape. Welcome back to the webcast of the Falcon 9 mission. We've had a nominal mission so far. Now we're just a few seconds away from the second ignition of the MVAC engine into the orbit needed to deploy the satellite. MVAC startup. And shutdown. And there we got a quick view. Just waiting for confirmation of good orbit here. Nominal payload deploy orbit. And great news, we just had SES-2 and SECO-2. It was a quick three-second burn. So we'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. And in the meantime, enjoy the space tunes. If you're just now joining us, we have just one more major milestone coming up, and of course, that is the deployment of the payload from Falcon 9's second stage. Separation confirmed. Incredible view of the satellite drifting away from our Falcon 9 second stage. We also want to give a shout out to the, all of our viewers for tuning in. Have a great night, and we'll see you again soon.